Like, you can't tell me that this isn't my real hair right now. Like, you literally cannot tell me nothing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Carisia. Today we're gonna be doing a quick and easy install of this unit from Fashion Plus Hair, Fashion Plus Amazon Hair. If you wanna see the unboxing and install of this hair, then just keep on watching and don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this before you click off. Okay, right, first off, if I'm wearing the same, I know I'm wearing the same outfit as my last, probably last hair review, but that's because I'm filming it on the exact same day, so you know, it don't matter. And I'm literally in my, like, night clothes, but it's cute. I like it. They're my favorite one. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for a headband wig um, for Fashion Plus. I love Fashion Plus's fashion pluses packaging more hair brands should start doing this because it's just really convenient this is it it always comes with headbands probably have like 10,000 headbands in here so oh, all these are cute though oh wow look at this new one five headbands as usual they always come with like options and here is the wig it has like a faint smell it's not that strong. This is their 16 inch water wave wig, headband wig. So this is what it looks like initially, the headband. This one's actually kind of softer than the material they usually use. Three clips on the front, two on the sides, one in the middle, like you can see. One in the back, and this one actually has the adjustable straps. Um, So you can adjust it to whatever size you want. Usually they don't come with that, and I feel like you don't really need it to be like that in most cases but because you can literally like strap the headband around but this one's kind of softer so maybe that's why it'll have a little bit less like hold so it's good that they have the adjustable straps so we're gonna start taking the video off of my wig cap on as you can see i'm gonna push it back a little bit like here I literally have my braids and my hair in like four messy ass grandma braids. Honestly, I'm not even going to hold you. I look at the mess. But uh, this is how we're gonna start out. Like, just pushing my hair back with the wig cap. This is gonna be super simple. And I just washed the hair. Like, I literally just washed it. So it's like all wet and stuff. This is what it looks like, mad, like soft and just nice. Usually I never go outside with my wig, like not secured by the clips, but like lately with these headband wigs, it's just, you don't really need the clips. It looks cute. So this is only 16 inches. I'm like thinking if I should secure the clip, I'm gonna secure one, but like then you, you can, you know what, I'm gonna secure the clips just to show you guys, but literally, I don't be securing the clips um, on these headband wings anymore because I just feel like it's not really necessary. Let me see if it's far enough back what I want it to look like. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, okay, cool. So I'm just gonna flip my head over and secure the velcro in the back. Oh, so this headband is actually mad weird. I'm like, I cannot figure this, why is it not? First off, it is it is a little bit like loose than most headband wigs. I thought this like headband being soft was kind of nice, but it's a little bit looser. And then they have this like, this type of, um velcro like it's like the other side you know how the velcro has two sides like the rough side here the soft side here then another soft side here and i'm really confused on like how that's supposed to work and it's a little bit like loose this headband um for me i mean one of the adjustable straps is loose so let me see if i tighten that if it'll help but i feel like the headband itself is a little bit loose on this one i'm pretty sure the adjustable straps would help because i feel like they usually don't have adjustable straps i was wondering why they had it in this one hopefully it needs a little bit tighter and honestly i don't understand 
I don't really understand this headband. Like, I'm thinking like you fold this part over to obviously snatch, because where else would it snatch onto? And then maybe put this here and then like fold it over. But like, then you have this piece here. I'm a little confused, but um, we're gonna try it out that way. But honestly, I don't think it should be a problem. The headband being a little bit looser than what I'm used to because it has the cones. So let me just put the cones in. It looks nice though. Like that looks so pretty. My forehead looks on ten, but it looks pretty. Okay. So that's how it looks. Feels secure like this. So let me just try the headband. I don't know what's going. On. What, what we're doing here yeah it def the headband death feels tighter when you like do it that fold over way so i guess that's the way you're supposed to do this one it's a little bit different but okay i mean it's a little extra it's a little extra and unnecessary but okay so I love these headband wigs because they're literally so freaking easy to do. Like literally, I just put on like a headband wig and a hat. Like this, this hat probably has makeup on it, but we're gonna ignore that. I just be putting the hat on like this over it. And it'd be going out the door. All right, so I'm just gonna do my edges. It honestly gives a whole little look about edges it's kind of cute but my forehead just looks so freaking big And brush. This brush honestly is so coated in product. I mean, it's wet, so you don't really have to do anything else with it. I mean, if it's if it wasn't wet, you could add some mousse. Let's add some mousse. We use this curved. Curl elastic mousse, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hands. Like, you can kind of see the body coming back on this side. I'm gonna add some on the ends. The ends be the part that makes them go on crazy. Really, not that I personally mind it, but. I need to like tie down my edges. Alright, so I'm gonna just tie down my edges for like five seconds. This curl pattern is like really pretty. It's like a like, given like a little I think that's what it was. Wet and wavy, right? Water wave, yeah, it's giving it's really giving that water wave look. It's really pretty. I really like this one, actually. I really like this one, but I already told my mom I was gonna get this with her, so. Yeah, she'll look pretty in it. Okay, this is actually kind of cute, too. Like, to put like a little headband over it. That's not cute. That's real cute. I like this like little style. Anyway, I had to go ahead and then wash my brush because the amount of product buildup that it was just on here from um, the last time I was using it was just looking a little just a little crazy. Um so I had to go wash that immediately. You could have like a million toothbrushes to do your baby hairs, but it just be that one toothbrush to be doing it like better than all the rest this is that one for me anyway my baby hair should be set by now so how does it i really like this hair like the curl pattern is so pretty and honestly once it dries it gets so much more full like honestly it was so full once i um 
as I think as you guys saw, once you took it out of the package, it was so freaking full. But like when you wet it, it just gives it a real nice water wave for real look. And it's not like thin as it's thin AF, like this the waves they separate really nicely but it still has like so much body to it as you could said just like leave the headband on like this and not even add any headbands you can't tell me that this isn't my real hair right now like you literally cannot tell me nothing 